Yesterday, I appeared in federal court in the Northern District of Illinois to have a further hearing on the NCAA concussion case, and I wanted to report to you where we are on that. We have submitted a second modified settlement agreement that deals with some of the concerns that the court had about the prior settlement, and in fact, the submission makes it a better settlement. And we are hopeful that on July 14th, Judge Lee will give preliminary approval to that settlement. Now, one of the issues that's come up, and we think the judge has uh, been on our side on this, is there's an objecting attorney uh, named Edelson, who's basically a privacy lawyer, who's saying that we're not doing the right thing because we're not seeking monetary damages for those who may have been injured concussion-wise while playing an NCAA sport. Let me make it perfectly clear. If you've been injured uh, and that injury is continuing, that's a serious injury. Your case needs the individual attention of rehabilitation experts, uh, vocational experts, uh, concussion experts that can't be done on a class action basis as Mr. Edelson is proposing. Not only does the law not allow it because courts don't certify uh, personal injury cases, but it wouldn't be fair to your case to treat it as a class action. Each injury is individualized. In each case, you need to decide, is that individual going to sue the school, the doctor, the trainer? That's a decision that has to be made on a case-by-case -case basis, not on a class action basis. Once we overcome the Edelson preliminary objection, which I think we will, the case should move forward, and I hope that notice will go out to all NCAA athletes sometime beginning in the summer.